All right, guys, I'm back again. And uh, of course, these last latest videos that I've been doing, it's mostly about fixing my old stuff, my old drawings. So I'm going to finish this up like where I actually left over. And uh, what we're going to do after this, I'm going to try to do a drawing of Alicia Keys. I have the CD right there, which She's one of my favorite singers, Alicia Keys. And um, so I'm going to try to draw her using the Loomis method and probably a little bit of the Serpino technique. So let's see how that goes. I can't promise you that it's going to look like her, but um, I'm going to try, you know, to make it look a little bit like Alicia, Alicia Keys. Let's see how it goes. I just want to finish this one right here and uh, I still got to do a lot of cor correction, a lot of fixing, you know, of some of the old stuff that I have done before. I want to just shade in a little bit because actually, you know, when you shade in the um, around the head or the face or the figure, it actually gives you a better view how you know, the inside is going to look like, you know, the center of the drawing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shade in pretty much around her face, around her hair. So that way I could capture all these dark areas, especially around behind the ear here, down here. You know, and so I don't know whether to tell you if this is sort of like darker hair or something. I'm just going to shade it in just a little bit in the center. So it's not blonde hair. It's sort of like maybe a, like a hash brown hairstyle that I would probably do. <clears throat> so the only way you can make your hair look in different colors by doing, um, you know, some light tones. And so far, it, it, it's, it came out really good, better than the old drawing that I did. And I, I don't know if you guys remember, the last video I did was um, I, I started fixing all these characters. And the next one I'm going to do is this one. So, but like I said, after this one, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to challenge myself. To see if I can do um, Alicia Keys. Let's see. Just by copying my CD. Just got to fix a little bit. underneath the jaw just a little bit okay so I'm gonna leave it like that all I gotta do is just sign my name twenty twenty three Okay, right, I gotta erase that cross that I did before. A little bit the center here. Okay, so I just wanna finish it off with maybe some eyelashes on this side of her eye. And over here, just a little bit eyelash. Okay. So I'm going to leave that and put it away because I don't want to throw away a good drawing, that's for sure.
this. Okay. All right, let's see if we can do um, Alicia Keys. I'm gonna get the CD. course take out the picture makes it more easier to draw and uh, let's see how it works so I'm gonna use the uh, the Loomis method of course um, I'm gonna get a, a better clean piece of paper that's what I'm gonna do Alicia keys so I'm going to start with a regular circle. And I'm going to work with her center of her face. And this will be the eyebrow line, of course and then the eyes. And I gotta be careful when I do the uh, eyes. I wanna make it nice and level on both sides. This over here will be her lips. No, actually, no, this is not Alicia Keys. This is uh, France Jolie. I'll do, yeah, okay, France Jolie. I don't know if you gotta remember that song. Oh my God, I'm going crazy here. I know I have Alicia Keys somewhere. I just got to look for her. But this is our friend Jolie, the disco singer that used to sing that song, Come To Me. Great song. Goes, come to me. She's a very beautiful woman, too. I think she's, um, I don't know, from Europe. I'm not really sure. Then she's got a very petite nose. I want to make sure I get her nose correctly done. So I start with the bridge of her nose. And yeah, she was popular those days back, the disco era. That song, Come To Me, beautiful song. And then I'm going to do lips and the bottom of the lip well, actually yeah the bottom not this bottom but the bottom of the top of the lip and I gotta be careful doing her lips because I don't want to make it look too big and now I'm going to start working with um, <clears throat> um, the rest of the features. So I'm going to go up and uh, I'm going to indicate little ball shapes for the eyes. Just make sure that there's a ball shape here in the middle too, just to measure out. And then I'm going to study her eyes really good and just draw the shape of her pretty eyes. And like I said before, not very good drawing from reference, but I do need a lot of practice. But when you see a beautiful woman like this, you, you just got to draw them. Like Romero said once, you make love when you're drawing a beautiful woman. It's like you're trying to make love when you're drawing a beautiful woman. Cherish her. Love her. See the beauty in her.
admire her eyes. Admire every single feature in her eyes. Her expression. I'll do the iris now. So I'm gonna take my time in this drawing. I think I gotta do the nose just a little bit smaller. Because women, especially her, she's got a very, very petite looking nose. So, now I'm gonna do the hairline should be around here. And I gotta admit, she's a very, very beautiful woman. No, what happened, you know, what happened was that I thought it was Alicia Keys. And I had plans to draw Alicia Keys, but I remember that Alicia Keys, I must have put her somewhere else and I gotta find it. It's 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 in there because I, I have all my my um selection of music, like the disco in a different section, the Motown in a different section. So yeah, this room is like full of music I used to collect like way, way back. And uh I got to remember where I put Alicia, uh, yeah, Alicia Keys. But I'm going to draw France Jolie because she is a very beautiful woman. That, that was one of my favorite songs, Come to Me. Come to me. Oh, yes, I will come to you. Then I'm going to try to make the border here. And, and right here. Jeez, we got to study the... Um, you can see that <clears throat> before I go on with the shape of the face, I got to look at, you know, this section here. Because there's this plane here, even though it's a little bit blurry, but you can see it, the planes. Okay. And the reason why they made a, the photo like that to make it look very glammy, that, you know, it's kind of very gloomy, glammy. So, but you can see the, the planes on her face right here and then right here, all the way down. And then the shape of the face from the hairline. So I got to really pay attention to this, to this part when I actually do this part. So I'm going to do the, the cheek lines. And then little by little, I'll be able to see the hairline and the shape of the face that actually tapers in all the way down, all the way down to where the jaw is and she's got a very very thin face and then I got to remember that the chin is a little bit round in the bottom just a little bit round and women's chin are very very round in the bottom and stuff uh, naturally that it's not that I like the man's chin that it's kind of wide so so I got to keep in mind when I finish doing her face, especially in the bottom of her face. Um, I get this correctly done. And then I got her hair. Then I'm going to you got to really take your time. If, if you really want to try to draw, and trust me, I need a lot of practice doing reference. Like right now, I'm taking my time with her because since I admire her so much, I, and I just want to make her look more beautiful. Um... Well, you know, beautiful like the picture, of course. 
It may not look like her. You know, I, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not going to look like her. It's going to look a little bit. It's definitely going to look like a beautiful woman because I'm making her really beautiful, of course. And then, of course, I got to follow the rhythm of the hair. But I'm not going to go on doing all these lines for the hair because I'm just going to make it simple. Because if I do all this, then I'm just going to kill the drawing. You know what I mean? What I could do is I could shade in, you know, shade in the hair. So like not scribble, but just shade in the hair and then just do, you know, some layers to make it look like it's her hair. Because she does have like brown hair. And then over here also shade it in. That's what I'll do. I'll shade it in. And I got to be careful with the shading too. So there might be um, some type of cast shadow on her side of her face, on, the, on this side of her face. So I got to be careful when I do the cast shadow on this side of the face right here. So then um, this will be the border of the CD, of course. And this will be the border of the CD. So I'm going to look at her face really good. I can't see her neck, but you can see that there's a lot of dark areas underneath the neck. So what I could do is I could do a hint of her neck and then just darken it. But I want to make sure I do the the correct proportions of the face, of course. And believe it or not, this is a technique that Loomis does and Romero actually mastered it really good. He did a, a great, great tutorial in drawing a woman's face, which I actually took notes and I always keep notes of everything he does. So now that I shaded in the hair, it'll be more easier to do, you know, more details. But I don't want to exaggerate it too much. <clears throat> the most important thing is to do the, um, the uh, like, you know, the rhythm of the hair, where it flows, what direction is going. Because if you can look at the hair, it's going, it's flowing, it's giving, it's sort of like rhythm here, rhythm here. And of course, it's a little bit messy the hair a little bit so you got to watch out for that right here um there's a lot of straight lines that go up this way and then this part curves right here so i got to be careful when i do this side of the hair So yeah, this takes a lot of practice when you're doing reference. So now this part of, you know, underneath her chin, there's, there's a lot of dark areas right there. So I want to actually capture that. I want to, you know, do that a little bit more darker, especially down here. And then I'm just going to slice it because that's the border of the CD cover. Right there. Okay, so now, now that I did the structure of her face, I'm going to work with it more. And it the face tapers in just a little bit, a little bit. Now I could fix the eyes. I'm going to use my mechanical pencil for that. Because if I use the black, forget it. I'm going to leave the black for later on. Or just maybe just leave this in pencil. Let's see what happens. She's got these beautiful eyelashes. 
You, know, you look at a woman like that and staring at you like that, you just want to fall in love again. Those days are gone, those disco days. And a lot of women in those days back used to love disco. They just loved it. I know my mother used to love disco a lot. And I got brought up listening to disco, even though I was more into the Beatles and classic rock, but, you know, you end up liking all different types of music. And this was music, people, trust me. The Tavares, uh, you know, Donna Summers, you know, all these disco singers, they were the music. That, that, to me, that was music back then. It was romantic, it was fun, it was great stuff, great music those days back. Now, I don't know if it's going to look like her, but at least it looks like a, a little bit, a resemblance of her. France Jolie. So, yeah, she's a very attractive lady. Come to me, come to me. Na, 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 na. Come to me. You'd be surprised, man. I listen to everything. I listen to disco, pop, rock, 80s, heavy metal, classic rock, soft rock. And now that this indie revolution came, you'll be surprised. There's a lot of great indie, indie music, English and in Spanish also. But you will never catch me listening. Never to hardcore hip hop or or uh, all that reggaeton garbage. The early hip hop was okay, you know, like um, the early, the Grandmaster Flash, those were great songs. And one of my favorite ones was White Line. Even though White Line actually was more like, kind of like a, a disco song, kind of. White Line, I don't know if you guys remember White Line by, um, I think it was the, um, Grandmaster Flash. And to me, that was the greatest hip-hop music those way back. I think everybody in those days back, they used to um, copy a lot. I don't know if you remember, you guys remember that song by this group, this British band called M. They also started doing that rhyme and rap kind of uh, technique, which they made that song pop music. Pop, pop, pop music. Pop, oh, you guys probably remember that. That was like really, really old, that song. Yeah, so, yeah, there was, you know, hip-hop actually changed in so many ways. A lot of people started copying, you know, hip-hop style. But first, you know, it was really funny that those days back, it was really, that was, that was taking over before disco was... Groups like these glam, you know, glam rock. And also um, you had groups like Wings, well, before, you know, the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. Yeah, but new music changed. Everybody started copying each other, you know. It's like, I remember this, the Rolling Stones started getting into that funky disco, like when they made that song... Um, some girls, the album called Some Girls, I think, and they made that song called Miss You, and it goes, <laughs> then they made that song Angie, but yeah, that Angie was more like an early tune that they made, Angie. Yeah, and those, ba those days back, the most popular songs before disco was Elton John, Paul McCartney and Wings. You had 10CC. Uh, then the disco came. That's when disco actually revolutionized the music. And it wasn't bad, you know. It wasn't, the music wasn't really bad. 
that's when Donna Summers came in, you know, came in and she was very popular. And then all these other artists like the True Connection and they were really good too. They made that song um, more and more and more. So a lot of people started doing monkey see, monkey do. It's like that. It's always been like that in the music industry. You know, they started working with um, and copying monkey see, monkey do. A lot of... And then France Jolie was like right near the late 70s. And I remember when they played her on the radio... You know, my mother fell in love with her. My mom was like, oh, my God, that woman's voice is just amazing. And a lot of people loved Franz Jolie. And she was one of my favorite singers in those days back. So let's look at the picture. I mean, you know, it's a little bit. Doesn't look. The problem is that when using the Loomis method for some reason or something, I just make it look more like a Loomis face, you know, especially the way Loomis would draw the face. I think the idea of trying to use and, you know, the Loomis method, um, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work because you want it to look like the person, but it takes a lot of practice. Um, Trying to make it look like France Jolie is not easy. Maybe if I shade in the, you know, some parts of her face, maybe that'll do it. I don't know. I'm just gonna shade in some, some parts of her face. She's got some aging be you know underneath her eyes just a little bit not that much oh here you can see it a lot my gosh she's got these beautiful lips if only i can just do them the way i want you know the way i see it maybe i can get it let's see i didn't think that this was going to take longer but it then again, you know, doing a, a you know, whether a self-portrait or a portrait of somebody, you're going to take a little longer. The one that could really do this quickly um, is Romero. Romero could actually do this really quick. So I think um, it came out okay, you know, Franz Julie. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually going to keep this because it came out pretty good. I'll write her name here, Franz Jolie. Okay, so that came out pretty good. Um, I'm just going to fix a little bit the outline of her lips. Okay. This way. So I sort of like challenge myself. So I think I did pretty good. The problem is it doesn't look exactly like her. You know what I mean? So, you know, drawing, you know, trying to like do reference is not easy. And since the, the name here was right in the front of the hair, I think that's what kind of messed me up over here too. So yeah, she's a very attractive lady. Now that I'm looking at her songs, Let's see the song she did here. Come to me, the classy 70s disco remix. And then she made a song called Playboy. Don't Stop Dancing was pretty good. Don't Stop Dancing, the radio edit. So, you know, these are different versions. The instrumental, Come to Me. And, uh, yeah, 1979. She started 1979. Wow, that song is like really classic. And then they made the CD in 1993. And it's amazing that this CD still plays. I've, I bought this, like, I would say 
at that time, 1996 or 1995, I think. It's a beautiful, beautiful mix of what she did. And then, yeah, this is a great face also to copy, you know, to draw. It's more like a three-quarter view face. All right, so let's continue. Um, let's do... Fix some stuff here. Now, I kind of like this drawing that I did. The only problem I have with this is that there's just too much detail and too much. It's like, oh, my God, the rhythm of the hair. I really messed up on this. But I could do this again if I want. So let's fix this one. And I kind of like the way I did these strange-looking mutant eyes. Then um, also this design came out pretty good. Maybe I should have did it a little bit higher, I guess. But I can tell that the proportions on this is not correctly done. So, and I tend to see these things. So I'm going to fix this again. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Loomis method, of course. And this will be the center of the face. And right here, so this is a different type of Loomis method so that I'm going to do now. Okay, guys, this is a different one. Mouth will be here. And then I'm going to create this sort of like an egg shape. All right. And then the nose, I'm going to do her nose, sort of like a triangle, no, you know, triangle. Then right here, the tip of the nose, this will be where the eye eyes are going to be at. Then I'm going to indicate where the eyes are, like always. So I'm going to go a little faster with the process. But when I start working with the character, I'm going to take my time at it because there's a lot of details I got to work with. So, um, the eyebrows are going to be uh, around here, right here. Let's fix the nose a little bit here. Then the mouth, I'm going to start the top of the mouth here and do the shape of the lip. And then the center of the lip. But I'm not going to worry about doing the lips because I'm going to do that later on. The basic thing here that I'm doing is I want to shape the face correctly done. So I'm going to slice off where the part of the circle is and then taper in the shape of the face all the way down to where the jaw is. That's the same thing I'm going to do over here. I'm going to slice and then taper in and if I want, I could just do half here and half here. That actually helps me better. I could do it that way. Or I could just do it this way. Okay, I got the head done there. And then I'm going to do the ears. But I'm going to do it lightly because most likely I probably might cover some, some part of the ear when I do the hair, of course. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the brace on top of her head, the helmet. And this time it's going to be a little bit bigger because I feel in a way that that is too small to do that, that helmet. So I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so... The hairline would be around here, like right above where the, the helmet is. Then I'm going to do the hair to some detail of layers of the hair. But I'm not, I'm not going to exaggerate it like the drawing that you see here. That, that, that came out pretty bad. So, 
So I'm just going to um, really be careful with this. And then as I go down, flowing the hair down, I'm going to give it direction, rhythm. Start, I'll do the outline first. So I do the outline, find all the key points, how the hair should look. And of course, this is a character from my head that I'm doing. It's uh, some type of mutant character I created. So, um, I'm going to fix a little bit the bang over here on this side. So it's kind of like make the hair flow in front of her neck, you know, to give it a nice three-dimensional look. So I'm going to keep the hair just a little bit. So she's going to be really pretty. Well, a pretty mutant, I would say. And I'm going to have to sharpen this a little bit better. Let me see if I can sharpen this. This better. So I'm going to look at this again. So I'm going to work with her eyes now. If I want, I can, you know, do the circle if I want, or just do the regular oval shape in order to do the eyes. But I got to be careful. It has to look even on both sides of the eye. So you got to watch out for the length of the eye. And then also we have the bridge of the nose and, um, you know, the... Um, the eyebrows. So I'm going to do like an outline of the eyebrows like this. I have to be careful because I want to make sure that proportions are right on this side and right on this side. So far, so good. So I'm going to go down a little bit lower, a little bit lower and actually look at her the tip of her nose and you know the bottom of her nose and then I'll start working with the filter of the bottom of the nose it's getting hot in here let me see hold on a second oh. let me take this out I had too much stuff on me okay so Make sure that this is correctly done. Now that I have the features done, I can start working with the shape of her face. So remember that there's space here. So you got to make sure that the hairline comes out this way. This is the hairline and right here you go down and that would be part of where the cheekbone is going to be at. And then you just make the, uh, the cheek lines this way, this way. And if you want, you could do the cheek lines first and then just work your way. That'll be better. You'll, you actually will see the outline more easier, especially, you know, on both sides of the face. But remember that when you're doing the uh, the eyes, you got to fix the length of the mouth. So say you have, because um, I'm not going to draw any iris, you know, the iris on her eye. I'm just going to do a little hint and then erase it later because I need to find out where the corner of, where's that ruler? Okay, where the corner of the mouth is. So usually the, the corner of the eye on this side, that's where it is where's the corner of the mouth so another way of doing this too is you can make a line going down this way to figure out where the corner of the mouth as long as it comes out a little bit like this that'll be the corner of the mouth so i'm going to make her some of these dimples here and 
start fixing the shape of her lips here and then just start working with her lips let's work out her lips and I'm gonna you know fix the eyebrow a little bit just give give it some details there so now that I have the length of the the corner of the mouth so all I have to do is just go back up and <clears throat> erase the um, the iris which I don't really need the iris anymore so so I'm gonna erase the iris and then I have my eye that's gonna be way better and I'm gonna draw her eyes really sexy but remember she's a mutant so I'm gonna make her beautiful but I'm gonna make her strange looking at the same time so this will this will be the um the eyelid here and and of course the eyelashes is gonna sort of like stand out coming out this way and over here also this way and then here remember that the top of the eye is thicker because of the eyelashes but this eyelash is going to be strange it's going to be sort of like a straight you know a straight eyelash that comes out and that's it that's the only eyelashes that she has she's a, sort of like a mutant i'll just do a little bit of some details here and a little bit details here to make her look more feminine and the bottom part of her eyelash usually when you're drawing women they use a lot of mascara so always keep in mind that women when they use a lot of mascara they actually exaggerate sometimes with the eyelashes so you want to make sure that when you're drawing the eyelashes um, you want to make it smaller in the bottom all the time and uh, since this is a mutant I'm going to make it more coming out you know just like this to make it interesting you see so I'm gonna fix the layers of her hair on this side of her the outline of the hairline here and then of course um, Part of the ear is going to be covered, of course, uh, especially on this side. Make sure I do the ears. Just a little hint there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna still keep working with the um, the shape of her face because I want to get the right proportions, especially when you reach the jaw. You know the jaw when you reach down below the jaw, and then especially underneath the neck you got to remember that it's the length over here from the corner of the eyes and I've said this many times that from the corner of the eyes that's going to be the length of the neck because women's neck is slender all women's neck are slender they're not big and wide like a man's neck so you always got to keep that in mind so um i haven't you know like figure out what type of costume i would do but i'm gonna probably make up something today because this didn't come out so good over here plus that's more like a man's neck and like i said this is an old drawing so i don't know what year oh yeah night 22 uh So I'm going to do it way, way better. And then she's got some type of logo on top of the helmet here. And it's sort of like a metallic. She has like a metallic helmet, you know. She, and so I got to make sure that that looks kind of metallic. And I don't want to make it look like a Wonder Woman thing, so I'm going to change that into a different form. You know, maybe do something like this. And then maybe just do some lines here. Because that's it's just going to kill the drawing. It's going to look more like a, uh, 
uh, another version of Wonder Woman. So I don't want it to look like Wonder Woman because I've already done so many drawings of Wonder Woman. So I gotta just make sure I do some details, like sort of like um, the metallical detail forms. You know, so like you shade in kind of, but kind of like straight lines to do metal detail. Then right here, I'm gonna finish off the bottom of the helmet. So far, so good. Then the top here, then the make sure it's even on the other side to bring it in like this, you know, do something creative. And then I don't have to worry about this part right here. So I just have to worry about the, uh, the hair, the hair detail from the top of her head. So maybe I might erase this over here. And just leave it like that for now. So yeah, whenever you decide to fix your drawings again, you're gonna notice you're you're gonna end up doing something different again. But that's okay. It's because you're you know you just don't like your old drawing and you want to do it over again, and you'll probably do some changes on your drawing. So and especially when you're doing character design. Let's fix a little bit the jaw. So she looks very mutant. Very mutant, like something from another planet, from another world or something. Uh, I wouldn't say something out of the extraordinary, but, you know, uh, I would say it's more like a character, like for like um, Star Trek or Star Wars or something. And I'm just going to fix a little bit the eyelid here but there's just something very very wrong here I don't know okay I did that right I think if I you know do some cast shadow on her it's gonna look way better that's what I'm gonna do do some cast shadow and then we'll continue doing another tutorial um, after I finish this I just want to finish her off make it better and then just make dark areas. So I guess the next video, I'll just finish her off, do more details, and then we'll continue because I got to take a break, eat something. So um, the lip came to mouth so good. I fixed this really good. Fix the top of the lip. I think that's what's throwing it off. So maybe I should have done the eyebrows, you know, a little bit arched. Maybe that's the problem. Make her look more sinister. Maybe I can do that. Let's see. Like that. Yeah. I think it would be better like that. It's more sinister now, see? And then I'm gonna shade in this part to make it more three-dimensional, of course. And maybe, uh, do, maybe you do some bolts on this, this side here, bolts. Bolts over here, bolts over here. I like metal bolts popping out out of the metal thing. And I gotta make it thick, like she's wearing something really heavy. Do some really heavy lines underneath the helmet to make it look more heavy. And then work with the hair a little bit, just a little bit of some layers, you know, a little bit of rhythm. I don't want to exaggerate it like the other drawing. Uh, that'll be a big mistake. 
it's only like on the root of the hair that needs more details like over here see as long as I get this all right so I'm just gonna leave it like that and just start working with it later on on the next video and um, it should be it actually would work later on I'll probably add more details on the helmet again I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but um, as long as I get it right you know, as long as I get it the way I want it to work Then the bottom of the hair, is, there's going to be a lot of detail. Usually the bottom of the hair has got more, more detail. And then just something very wrong. I should have done more body on this side. But that's okay. I could always do another layer. All right, guys, hopefully that this actually will help you out and uh, we'll continue with the next video after this. Thank you for watching.